Already county champions, and Minla has, is trying on their third attempt to win this Knock Board final. The Minla team is out on the field. Dunmore is yet to come. Minla team is captained today by Gabriel Collins. Has taken up a position in league slip a few weeks ago, a computer engineer. Damien could, or Gabriel could, be in opposition to his counterpart here, Damien Mitchell, who's playing for Galway at the moment. I see Mikko De Wire here on the stand. He must be watching Gabriel in today's game. He, who knows, he could wear the Lily White of Kildare in next year's championship. What an interesting clash it would be if Galway and Kildare met in that final. Dunmore has come out onto the field now. Very little wind for this game. There's a strong sun shining from the right to left, shining into the town goal. It'll be hard on the backs and forwards to see the ball. But no matter, the game has to go on. After a lot of rain, the pitches, it looks fairly heavy. Referee for today's game is Jerry Gain of June. Those teams have met twice already in the league, once in Minland, once in Dunmore. A win for Minland, Minland, a win for Dunmore at home. So this is the third time they're meeting this year. And I hope it's an interesting game. Bernard McHale is playing in the half-hour line for Minland today. Bernard has taken up position in Corgreen National School as principal. This 100 metre sprint champion of two years ago. A lot of good footballers came out of Calgary, but now I think we'll have a lot of Ben Johnsons and Carol Luce from now on with Bernard. Tom Keeley has made his return to the Minna team today after an injury he's received early on in the year. He's playing at number 13, right full forward in today's team. This is a very eagerly awaited clash between Minna and Dunmore. Jimmy Screen has returned to the full forward position where he was replaced in his last outing, but the selectors have given him the nod today and he's playing today and we hope he has a good game. Jimmy needs to get a lot of scores here today to shake this Dunmore team. I'm trying to see who is playing at centre half back. Cahal Jordan is injured and he's out. see any number six out here. Tommy Screen is on the right and Gable is on the left. Well, the referee is about to get this Knockboard League final started now. He's doing his exercise out here so he won't pull his hamstring. He should have done that last night. Minless playing from right to left the first half. Mike Slattery has, Slattery has taken over the centre half back position. Mark and John Dunn and son of the great three in a row man of the Galway team. A very big man, bigger than John or Pat. They were small, but they were good. Small and portly. A computer engineer is slimming his limbs out here, Gabriel Collins. Throwing the ball to the referee, about to get this game on. In the field for Dunmore is David Crown and Martin Finn versus Damien Mitchell and Michael Mannion. Damien the construction engineer, Michael Mannion, the college university graduate. 
lot of educated young men on this team. A lot to be said for our teachers of Midland National School. And the ball is in, and it breaks between them. Picked up there by David Cronin for Drum Moore and kicked into the Midland forward line. In the back, Martin Connors is in there, picking the ball up. But the referee says, Martin, you picked it off the ground and it's a free in to Dunmore. John Donlan to take the kick for Dunmore. This could be the opening score of the game. He's placing the ball. The pitch is very heavy. It has made a lot of rain yesterday. And it's, the goal line is very wet out there. Steady himself with the kick. Up he comes. Right for the kick. He kicks it high and he kicks it over the bar. The first score of the game for Dunmore. One kind to know. David Lahine is my scorekeeper here today. David, a member of the men on the 16 team that won two in a row this year. League and Championship. Andrew Concannon on the goal for the kick out. He was called off to the last day, so we have to have it right this day, Andrew. Up he comes, right for the kick. Kicks it well into the centre of the field. Up the goal for it out there. It's held out there by number eight, David Cronin for Dunmore. David kicks, kicks it into this side of the field. Kevin Kilgannon comes out and gets the ball from Minna. Bush is the way out. Kicks a good high ball down the field. It's dropping out there. It's held out there by the Dunmore. The man and he's fouled. Kicked out to this side of the field again. Breaking in here. Matt, Kevin Collins feels it well for Minla. Kevin is settled in well at full back. He's fouled. Takes it quick to Damien Mitchell. Damien kicks it down the wing. Des Kid comes out. He breaks through. Nicholas Hughes is on the ball for Minla. He kicks it on ahead of him. Big Jimmy Screen picks it up. Drops it. It's caught in there by the Dunmore man and cleared out by Don Raftery. Out here to this side of the field. Kicked up there by number five, James Lester. Kicked out by Michal Flattery down again. Held there by Michael Mannion. Michael Mannion kicks a good ball across the far side of the field. Switching tactics out to Bernard McHale. It's broke out there. Francis Keenan has it for Dunmore. Francis kicks to the left foot of ball up the far side of the field. Martin Collins is on this one. It breaks between them. Martin was fouled and it's a free out. He was fouled by Pascal Jordan on the far side of the field. Martin kicks it himself. A short ball out the wing. Francis Keenan comes to it, gathers it for Dunmore, punches it into the centre. To number nine, Martin Finn. Held in there by Kevin Collins. Kicked out to this side of the field to Damien Mitchell. Damien sidesteps his man. He falls on the ground, the wet ground. He out to Gabriel Collins. Gabriel kicks it up the field. Held in there by number two, Tom Ryder for Dunmore. Kicked out to number, number eight. David Cronin, David kicks the ball in to the inrushing number 12, Michael Holliday. Michael Holliday is out there for Dunmore, punches it back into number 15, John Dooley. John kicks the high ball up in the air. Martin Collins under the ball, Martin drops it, he was pushed out of the way. Gabriel picks up the breaking ball and kicks it to the side of the field. Racing out there is Damien Costler, number 12 in his back. Damien is pushed off the ball there by Seamus Nestor and Seamus has gone out over the line and it's a line ball for Minla. Damien Mitchell is in there, mad to get on with the game, but the referee says it's a free in. <coughs> free in, foul, Mike and Lester, James Nestor was fouled for Dunmore, he's going to take the free himself. <coughs> Very little between the teams at this stage, Dunmore one point, Minla no score. He kicks a good ball in, a dangerous ball in, it breaks in there, held by Kevin Collins, he gets the breaking ball, comes out the field with the ball, toward a hand. Kevin punches it out to his brother Gabriel. Gabriel is on the, kicks a good ball down the field. Nick this Tom Keely is coming out, breaking the ball out. It's broke out to the Dunmore man, David Cronin. David is going up the field on his own, kicking it, switching tactics out to this side of the field to number 12, Michael Holliday. He kicks it high and he kicks it to the left and wide of the post. Chance there for Dunmore, gonna begging. One point, no score. Very little between the teams. Andrew Concannon placing the ball for the kick out from the middle of the goal. Andrews kicks her a long, good long kick out. The goal is very mucky in there. Pitch is very heavy and wet. That's why the game is not played at a very fast, fast pace yet. Ball is out there. Mike Flattery picks up the breaking ball. Taken over the centre half back position, injured Carl Jordan. He kicks it across to Damien. Damien Costley has the ball. He's going into the centre of the field. Kicks a low ball in. It's breaking in there. Jimmy Screen comes out with John Rafter. John kicks the ball out. Out to the on. Not Damien Costley. Damien takes a shot. He kicks it high. And he kicks it over the bar, and the first score from Inla, the sides are level. Good score by Damien from the right wing, he moved across and took a very accurate kick. Damien is a player, he can kick from both sides, and that one he kicked from the right, and a good accurate one it was. Damien is marked by James Nestor. 
Sean Bowles in the goal for Dunmore to take the kick out. Coming out to the 21 metre line. 20 metre line. Sean Bowles with the kick. Steady himself, capping out and keep the sun out of his eyes. He kicks it right for it. Not a very long one. Dropping out. Fielded well out there. My number six, Sean M- Maloney for Dunmore. The ball has gone in again. Jimmy Screen racing out, getting possession, punching inside him. It's saved in there by Sean Bowes in the goal. Bernard McHale hit it out. The goal hit it out to Des Kidd and Des takes it high and he kicks it over the bar. A great score by Des. Two pints to one in favour of Minla. This game is going to be very close. The scores are close at the moment. Sean Bowles in the goal again for the kick out. Bad pass by Sean that resulted in Des intercepting and Des says thank you Sean. He kicked it over the bar. Up he comes and kicks it left right footed into the centre of the field this time. Broke out there between them. Damien picks up the breaking ball and is fouled. Damien is going to kick this one from the ground, taking his time, slowing down the game. Des Kitt is being called out by Damien to kick this one. How he comes. And the referee says he placed the ball and he throws it in. He's thrown in the ball. I don't know why he done that, but the ball was already placed and he came out to take the kick and he went three place. He throws it in between Damien and number two, Tom Ryder, but Damien breaks the ball out to Mihal Flattery. Mihal Flattery is going through with the ball. Number six in his back. He, he's tripped and he's fouled and the ball is coming in there. And it's Jimmy Screen has the ball and he picked it out of the ground. He who's John Rafter out of the way and picked up the ball and it's a free out. Don has a few words with Jimmy there saying, don't come into Dunmore Town without your headlights or dims, or if you do, you'll surely ruin, surely meet Big Don. And out comes the kick out. Mike Slattery to Gabriel Collins. Gabriel kicks it to the far side of the field. Out there, Francis Keane and Bernard McHale. Bernard McHale wins the position, he kicks a good ball in. Don Rafter is in there for Dunmore. Pucks it out to Francis Keane. Francis Keane and kicks it left footed up the far side of the field. A good ball between Martin Collins and John Dooley. John Dooley wins possession, but the ball has gone over the line, and it's a line ball from Inla. Martin to kick the ball himself. He kicks it quick to Damien Mitchell. Damien is intercepted by John Donlan. John Donlan kicks a big high ball into the square. In there is Kevin Kilgannon under it. Got the broken ball well and kicks it way out the field. Ball is dropping down. Up the goal for it. Held out there. Broken. Picked up by Nicholas Hughes. Nicholas kicks it and he's fouled and he keeps going. But he, the ball is picked up in there by number six. Shane, Sean Maloney out again to Damien. Damien to Damien Costello and Michael Mannion. Michael kicks another ball in. It's caught in there. Jimmy breaks the ball out to Francis Keenan. And Francis is fouled and it's a free out for Dunmore. Francis kicks it to this side of the field. Out to his number five, Seamus, James Nestor. James Nestor picks the ball up. Kicks it right for the low ball. Very hard rattle there. Gabriel Collins on number nine. And James Finn. The ball is kicked down. Quick ball. Out to this kid. Out in the corner. This Throws the ball into Gabriel Collins. Gabriel is on the ground. He gets up. Passes it back to Dez. Damien Costa is on the ball. Damien takes a shot. He sends it high. And it's over the bar. A great score by the young man Damien Costa on the far side. This side of the field. Two good points by Damien. One from the far side and one from this side. Jack Collins goes out here of the stand. Dodging on the team with that score. Telling them to come on. Sean Bowes with the kick out again for Dunmore. Right for the kick, the sunshine in his eyes, up he comes. Kicks it high, kicks it out to the centre of the field. Field it out there, locked down. James Nestor, James Nestor has the ball, kicks it low. Out to John Donlan, John Donlan is pushed by Michal Flattery, but he's still in possession. Passes it back to number 10, Thomas Keenan. Thomas Keenan kicks it into the centre. Broken in there, the ball is in no man's net. Picked up by Kevin Collins. Kevin comes out the field, stole on the past the 45 metre line. He's gone past the centre of the field. Punches it down to Michael Mannion. Michael Mannion takes a shot from far out. Lobs it well in. Locked in there. Jimmy Screen is in there. Hoosting his way around. But the ball has been poked out by Don Raftery out to the side of the field. This kid hoosts his men out over the line. Mm. Referee says play on. Jimmy Screen is out there. Jimmy is on the ground. The ball is coming in between John Ryder. Tom Ryder and this kid. And the referee has blown the whistle. 
It's a free out for Tom Ryder. Oh, it's getting to be red. Yes, it is. Tom Ryder to take the kick himself. Tom kicks it right footed into the centre of the field. Dropping out, broken out there. Mike Flattery picks up the breaking ball. Coming through with the ball. Minn has taken over this game in the early stage. Mike takes a shot. He kicks it to the right and it's gone wide. Minn have the better of these early exchanges so far, but it's a long way to go yet. It's three points to one. Sean Bowles in the Dunmore goal placing this ball. He has a lot of balls kicked out so far. Three points to one in favour of Minna. Kicks it out again to the centre of the field. Under the breaking ball, Nicholas Hughes has been fouled. Of Bernard McHale being fouled by Francis Keane. It's a free up to Minna. But Francis Keane was fouled by Bernard. Francis kicks it to this side of the field. Changing their tactics. Racing out here is number 10. Jim Thomas Keane. Passes it into Johnny Donnelly. John Donnelly is making his way in, going across the field again. Passes it back in again to number 14. John Reddington. Not, not getting too far today. And Kevin Collins passes it across the field. Martin is, he overplays the ball. It's a free out from Enla. I cannot make out who he is. I cannot get his number. Tommy Keenan. To t Tommy Screen takes the ball from Enla. Quick one to Michael Mannion. Michael is, he, runs into a tackle, gets away from him, kicks it at the side of the field. Into Bernard McHale. Bernard takes a shot and he kicks it wide. Min is playing into a slight breeze at this first half, but it is very slight. It's blown diagonally across the field. And the town goal across here to the stand. Sean Bones in the goal for the kick out. Kicks it a good one to the far side of the field. Bernard McHale goes with Francis Keane, but breaks between them. Tommy Keeley picks it up. Tommy is held out there and is more is kicked away from him. Damien runs out for it there. Damien is, leaves it on the ground. Tommy Screen pulls in it. Damien pulls in it. There's a bit of shoving and pushing out there. John Reddington picks it up from Dunmore and he's fouling. It's a free in. He takes it quick. Across to number nine, Martin Finn, who was taken down. John Reddington taking the kick, a low one, into... John Reddington. Oh, foul there. Number 15, John Dooley it is. Passing it out to his number 10. Men in the backs tackling very hard. Damien Mitchell picks up the breaking ball to Gabriel Collins. Clearing it well down the field. John Rafter is racing out all on his own. Kicks a good ball out. Heavily tackled by Bernard McHale and a free from where the ball lands. Men are taking no prisoners in this game. It's in and hit hard and that's what it's all about. It's now ch no child's game out there. It'll be harder next year if they go up playing senior football. They'll have to be prepared for these knocks and last games. Free to Dunmore in the centre of the field. David Cronin to take it for Dunmore. Kicking a good ball in. Broke in there. Martin Collins goes for it. and cleared out by Damien. Mitchell out to this Bernard McHale. Bernard is running deep into the middle of the fence to help him out. Hot out there by David Cronin for Dunmore sent back in. It's a free where the ball landed. Then the backs are tackling very hard and that's the way. Keep the forward out. He'll think twice where he starts to come through. A sub warming up here from Minna. Seamus Mitchell racing down the line. John Donlin to take this free for Dunmore. About 35 metres out. John steadying himself. Three points to one. In favour of men. Now he comes. He kicks it high. He kicks it in. Well, and it's gone out for a 45. It's gone out. Martin off Kevin Collins for that one. <coughs> Francis Keane is coming into the centre. I'd say he's going to take this kick. Seamus Mitchell still warming up here. Milner must be going to make a substitute in the forward line somewhere. Son of Jimmy, member of the 69 team. David Cronin to take this kick. For Dunmore, right for the kick. 50 me 45 metres out. Low ball in. 
Gone right into the goal line and it's gone wide. Went off a Dunmore man going in along with his wind wide. Andrew Concannon getting the ball to place it for the kick out for Menla. Three points to one in favour of Menla. David is not too busy with the score line here, he says. Maybe we'll get another score or two before too long. It's not going to be a high scoring game. Andrew kicks it well out, a good ball out into the centre of the field, breaking out there. Held out there, Martin Finn for Dunmore. Martin is fouled by Tommy Screen, it's a free in. Quickly taken by Martin, a high ball in, dropping in, broken in there. Picked up in there, oh, a quick ball went in, but nobody there, only the two Collinses. And Kevin comes out this side of the field, out to Gabriel, the construction engineer. He's racing his way up the field with the ball. Nobody near him, kicks a good ball in. Broken in there, held in there by Tom Ryder this time. Tom is boosting his way out, tackled by Damien Castle, Tom Keely, and Tom Keely blocks the ball, and it's a line ball for Tom. Tom Ryder to kick it for Dunmore. Tom falls after kicking it, kicks it into the centre. Michael Flaherty there, nobody on him. Michael is racing down, kicks a very high ball into the middle of the foul line. A low ball that suits him better. It's held in there by number four, David Connolly. David is out the far side of the feed. He plays it out to Francis Keane, and Francis kicks a good ball into the centre. Nobody there, only two middlemen. Gabriel Collins, the computer engineer, kicks it into the, the teacher in the corner. Bernard McHale racing through. Bernard is going through. He shakes it in, and it's blocked in there by Sean Bowes in the goal. Cleared out here by number five, James Nestor. Out here's the young Mark Gabriel Collins, who's hoosted in the back, and it's a free in for Mendler. The sub coming on for Minla. Don't know who's coming off yet at the moment, we don't see. The sub has come in, but I don't know who's coming off. Tom Keeley is coming off. Tom made his comeback today, but his legs are a bit weary after the long layoff. He had an injured ankle, but he's a great hearted player, Tom. On his day, he would turn the game around, but he's replaced by the young man, Seamus Mitchell. Run into the corner. Damien Costler with the sideline kick. A good ball in by Damien. Up the go for it. It breaks in there. Held in there. By number six for Keane. Sean Maloney. Kicks it out to the far side of the field. Tommy Screen boots it on the ground. Kicks it back in. They're under the ball. Dropping ball. It's broken out. Seamus Mitchell is out there. Jimmy Screen is down on the ball. The big man. He turns his man. He kicks a left foot of ball in. A good curling shot but it's just gone to the left of the post and wide very low score so far three points to one that's what it's going to be a low scoring game both sets of backs are tacked and hard and it's hard to get away from them Minler on top the Minler backs are on top here in this end of the field and done more of the far end Sean Bowes at the kick out a right footer kick to this side of the field he's changing his tactics up the go for it Damien Costley gets the break and he's racing through one mark Damien takes a good shot and it's gone over the ladder. Another great score by the young man from Skahanna. No one is shot for Skahanna. He has his kicking boots on him definitely today. And you'll find Damien is making his way in the team this year. A good young player. Playing at number 12. Sean Bowes kicking out the ball again. Four points to one now. Up he comes, right for the kick, kicks it into the centre of the field this time, up the goal for a Damien Regents, broken out there, picked up by number five, he has it lost again. The ball is kicked in between Jimmy Screen and Don Raftery, and Don is fouled, and it's a free out for Dunmore. Jimmy is doing a lot of fouling in there. A big strong man, he doesn't know the strength of his, the power he has. Poor Don Raftery knows it. Don kicks the ball again out into the centre of the field. Past the centre of the field. Up the goal for us. Broken out there. Picked up by number 10 there. Thomas Keenan. Thomas, the brother of John. Francis Keenan. Sons of the great three Moreau team for goal. Into Kevin Kilgannon. Kilgannon has the ball. He punches it out to Gabriel. Gabriel is stolen out the field. Punches it across to Kevin. Kevin is passed intercepted by John Donlan. John is passing it into the centre to Finn. Martin Finn kicks the ball helplessly wide. 
Mindle and Baxter and a lot of dilly dally in there. They'd be better off to kick that ball out the field. The ground is very heavy and wet out there. Release the ball down to the forwards. It's the only way you're going to get scores. Andrew Concannon placing the ball for the kick out. Mindle having the better of this first half. Andrew kicks it to the right hand side of the field. It breaks out there. Nobody there. Dunmore, my number eight, David Cronin, picks up the ball, passes it in low. Into his corner forward, number 15, John Dooley. John Dooley is fouled out there by Martin Collins and it's a free. And John takes a quick to number seven, Francis Keenan. Francis Keenan coming through, pulled, pulled by Damien and held. And it's a free in to be taken by Francis, or is he going to leave it to John Donnelly? Yes, John is coming out, the big number 11. John's placing the ball. His uncle Pat was a great free taker in the 60s. From any angle of the field, he'd pop it over the bar. Let's see what his nephew John is going to do here today. John steady himself, right foot a kick. He kicks it well in, a good probing ball, dangerous ball, and it's a goal. It's a ball broke between the middle of the backs and went all the way to the back of the net. A very good goal there by Dunmore in the back line. Dropped the ball in, the sides are level for the first time in this half. In the backs are very vexed with themselves in there. It was a very handy goal for Dunmore. A free from John Donlan went all the way to the net. Andrew with the kick out now. Now things is going to get urgent on this team from Minla. Out here to Damien. Damien grabs the ball all on his own. Kicks it a good ball in. To Des Kid. Pushing in there by number five. John Nestor kicking the ball up along the field. Out to number ten. Thomas Keenan racing through. A good ball in. Dunmore is becoming alive now with that goal. It opened them up. The ball has been punched in out there to number 13, and it's gone wide. Pascal Jordan went out for that ball, it broke off the middle of the backs and done more forwards, and it went out wide after done more forward. Andrew with the kick out. The change in the done more team, Tom Ryder has come out to mark the danger man from in the Damien Costello. And number five, James Nestor has gone in to mark the danger man, Des Kitt. Andrew with the kick out, it's a low one, out to Gabriel Collins. Gabriel picks it up. Gabriel is having a good game, kicks the ball the far side of the field to Tommy Screen, dropping out there, Francis Keenan breaks it away, up to John Dooley and Martin Collins, Ma John Dooley gets the better of Martin this time, but he's pushed in the back and it's a free in, Bernard McHale back to help the backs, he's going to leave it down for John Donnan to have another pop shot, Bernard as I said, uh, All-Ireland 100 metre champion of two years ago, very fast speedy man. Colgary School turned out a lot of footballers. They turned out a lot of Ben Johnsons and Carol Lewis from now on. With Bernard teaching down there. Man. John to take the kick. He kicks it in low again. A dangerous ball. Mike Flattery vets the danger this time. Out to Gabriel. Gabriel racing out of the ball. Toe to hand. Coming down the field. Kicking a good ball. Into Des Kitt. Des Kitt has possession this time. Tommy Ryder has moved out. Des is getting that room now. He's not being close to Mark before. Mick the shoes has the ball. The steel fixer bracing his way through in the Mike Cullen road. He works in there in the Mike Cullen, the steel fixer. Passing it into Michael Mannion. Michael kicks a good ball in. It's a dangerous ball and it's just gone wide. This kid is going to open up now. Tom Ryder has moved out to Mark Damien and I think Des is going to get a lot more room now from his man James Nestor. Des, James hadn't the speed of Des, not the power. Sean Bow is in the goal for the kick out for Dunmore. Placed the ball this side of the field this time. Kicks it to this side also. Up the goal for Tom Ryder has it. He breaks it. Damien Costa breaks up the break and he's racing through. Damien is on the 20 meter line, takes a shot and he kicks it over the bar. Another great score by the young man from Skahana. Damien is on his day today. Tom Ryder, James Nestor cannot handle him. Tom Ryder dropped the ball and Jamie says thanks and he raced through. He could have buried in the net but he took his pint, kept his cool. A pint is as good as a white, better than a white ball any day. Jamie has four pints got now from Inla. Kick out again by Sean. Kicks it to the centre of the field. Up the goal for it, breaks there. Nick the shoes picks it up. The steel fixer breaking through. It's out to Michael Mannion. Michael Mannion kicks it across to the far side of the field. Seamus Mitchell is beaten out there. By number four, David Connolly kicks it up to number 12. Michael Holliday, Holliday, going through with the ball, passing it in to number eight. David Cronin kicks it in. Doc is there, Martin Connolly, the doctor call him. 
Out oh, today to Michael May and to Michael Flattery, to Damien Mitchell, and away he goes. The construction engineer besting his way up the field. He's still going through. He pucks it into Bernard McHale, but the referee says it's a free. Or it's a free. The Hall Flattery is grounded out there at the far side of the field. Damien, Kevin Collins going out there having a tussle with one of the Dunmore lads. It must be number eight that hit him. David Cronin for Dunmore. An off the ball incident. Mike is getting to the top of that magic bottle. He seems to be okay. John Hughes and Pat Carty out there with him. His shoulder. Cracking the shoulder. <coughs> this is going to be free from where the ball landed. Des Kitt is going to take it. This is Des first chance at a score from this near the goal. One one to five pints to score. Four pints to five. Mikey's flattery is all right. That magic robot done wonders and Des to take the kick. Up he comes, right foot a kick. He kicks it high and he kicks it over the bar. A good score by Des, the first score from the three by Des today. Brendan is delighted here, he could be his son in law yet. Sean Bowes in the goal for the kick out. <laughs> Up he comes, right for the kick, kicks it into the centre of the field. Breaking out there, picked up by Nicholas Hughes. Nicholas Hughes out to Bernard McHale. Bernard has the ball, he punches it inside to Damien, but too far. Dunmore, centre half back coming out there. Very strong man. Gabriel, Damien took a very heavy charge there from Sean Maloney, very strong man, he was free up for Dunmore. He now feels the brunt of the clash with Damien himself, he is on the ground. The construction engineer is hard. Francis Keenan to take the kick for Dunmore. A left footed kick into the centre of the field. Mickey is under the ball, he grabs it well. Mickey Flattery grabbed that ball well, took her down, goes up the field so long, kicks it a left footed kick into the open space between Des Kitt and number five, James Nestor. Des Kitt gets there first to speed. He's pushed off the ball there, but he's still going through. Des is busting his way in. He's gone in and he's pulled down inside. He still has possession. He plays it out to Jimmy Screen. Jimmy's kick is blocked in there by Francis Keenan. Des was pulled down in there. I thought it would be a penalty, but Francis cleans it out here. Gabriel Collins picks it up from Miller. Gabriel kicks it back across the field to the unmarked Damien Mitchell. Damien is racing out for it. He loses possession. He passes it out to Tommy Screen. Tommy Screen kicks a high ball in. But it's gone way, way to the right and gone wide. It's gone out for a 45. The umpire says it's a 45 from Enla. <laughs> 45 going to be taken by Damien. He's going to kick this one in the centre of the field. Des Kitt is leaving this one to Damien. Des was after making a great run there. I thought he'd get a penalty, but the referee says he fell over. This is opening up this Dunmore backs. Damien to take the kick. The centre of the field. Up he comes. Right foot a kick. Low ball in. Locked out there for Francis Keenan. Francis Keenan is tackled by Bernard McHale. Francis kicks to this side of the field. To the open space. He all flattery picks it up. Gabriel Collins runs on for the pass. And in there he gets it. Gabriel has having a good game here today. He's tackled there by Matthew Reddington. John Reddington is fouled and it's a free in. Des is coming across to take this one. Damien calls him over. About 45 metres out, settling the ball for the kick.
Up there comes, right for the kick. Kicking it high and kicking it straight and it's gone. Oh, dropped in and Jimmy Screen pulled it in there. Damien Castles outside the goal, he goes for the goal, Jimmy Screen tries but it's saved in there and it's a free out. A lot of pressure on the Dunmore back there but Minna went for the goal but number five saved it, James Nestor for Dunmore. He was fouled and it's a free out to be taken by James himself. James kicks it right for it, well into the, passes into the field, the referee has blown, it's half time. 1-1 one, one to six pints, four pints to six, two pints in the lead in favour of Minla. In a very entertaining first half. Minla have the edge in this game and I would safely say now that they'll take this not board league final. Grant <laughs> ready for the start of the second half, Minla leading by two pints. Paddy Joe Kinney now, the old 69 player moving down here, take up his position for the second half. The green and gold are in the town. Tune Stadium is not too far away. Dunmore, look out. Minna's here with a mighty shout, cried a young Minna Buck. I see John Dooley's in his civics here. He must have tugged in at half time. Dunmore must have a sub on. Referee getting ready for the throw in for the second half. Up he throws it, up the goal for it, held there, broken to Damien. Michael Mangan broken down Damien. Damien is pushed backwards. I thought he'd get it, yes, he's got a free now. He was fouled before that. Damien to take the kick himself, kicking it into the centre. Jimmy Screen beaten down after this time, but he flicks it to Nicholas. Nicholas kicks it high and he kicks it to the left and wide. Jimmy raced out on that ball, but Don Rafter broke it from him and Nicholas picked up the loose ball and kicked it wide. Sean Bowes in the goal for the kick out for Dunmore. Martin Reddington has gone back, Martin Gabriel Cotton, or uh, Bernard McHale this half. The kick out to the centre. Not a very long one. The ball breaks out there. Damien Mitchell has it. Damien comes to the side, passes it over to Nicholas. Nicholas takes another shot, kicks it high into Bernard McHale. Under the dropping ball, Bernard gets it, but it slips away from him. It's a wet ball. The pitch is greasy out there and it slipped out over the line. Sean Bowes in the goal again. Sean has the cap taken off this half. The sun is in his back. He kicks it right for it into the side of the field. Up the goal for it. It breaks out there. Francis Keenan picks up the rake for Dunmore, punching it out. Not too very long. Damien tackles him. Damien is fouled and it's a free in. Damien is placing the call and desk out to take this one. Des is coming out 45 metres to take this free for Minla. See, could he stretch Minla's lead? A great score by Des. Des certainly has his shooting boots on here. For stretch Minna's lead to three pints now in the early stages of the second half. Minna is taking the grip of this game now and slipping away from Dunmore. Three pints lead now. Sean Bowes again for the kick out. Up he comes, right for the kick. Kicks it into the centre of the field again, up the goal for it. It breaks there, broken away from the Dunmore man. Tom Thomas Keane has it for Dunmore. He's fouled by Damien and Nicholas and it's a free out. Francis Keenan was fouled there. Francis the left for the kicker, kicks a good ball down the field. Locked out there by the number 12 for Dunmore. Michael Mulholland kicks it across the far side to the other Keenan. Into the unmarked player and Dunmore is racing through number 12 and his shot is blocked and it's gone out and out wide. A very dangerous move there from Dunmore from Michael Holliday. But Michael's shot was very wild and went off to the right and wide. Dunmore slipped in there very quickly. They're slick but they haven't got the speed of Minla but they're cute enough. Minla backs would want to keep them tightened down for this half. Andrew Cannon from the kick out. Andrew wears the cap for this second half. The sun is in his eyes. He kicks it into the centre field. Held out there by Francis Keenan. Francis kicks the low balling, but no one there but Martin. Martin kicks it out the far side of the field again to Damien Costley. Damien is beaten there by Dennis Ryder. Tom Ryder this time. Tom kicks the good ball in. Held in there by the number 12, Michael Mulholland. He's hoosted out there, but the ball is Kevin Kilgan and boots it on the ground. Out to the young Martin, number 15 for Dunmore. A low, harmless ball into 
Min the goal and it's gone out for a 45, the umpire says. The Andrew let it out, he could have blocked it. Kicked in there by Michael Holliday for Dunmore. Andrew could have blocked that ball, but he thought it was wide, but the umpire said it's a 45, and it's Martin Reddington has the ball out here. John Reddington for Dunmore. He's going to take this one himself. John has moved back Malcolm Bernard McHale in the half back line for this half for Dunmore. Bernard is a very speedy player. John to take this foot, left footed kick. Steadying himself to take the kick now. Dunmore three points behind. Up he comes. He kicks it low ball. It's gone out. It's blocked in there. Kevin Collins racing out here for, to get the ball. It's held there. He's fouled. Number 15, John Dooley is his name. But Not the John Dooley that I know for Dunmore. He must be another John Dooley as he's down here, not tugged out today. He's injured for Dunmore. The score has to be taken by Michael Holliday. The scoreable chance for Dunmore, but we have to wait and see. He's gone away back. He's going to have a long kick at this ball. Right for the kick. Up he comes. He kicks a low and it's gone harmlessly wide. A bad kick there for. Michael Holliday for Dunmore. Andrew Concannon placing the ball in the small square for the kick out. Andrew kicks it to this side of the field. It's a good kick out from Andrew. They're held out there by. The Dunmore man, number five, Martin Finn, he's on the ground. The ball is kicked away from Tommy Screen by Francis Keane. And it's a free out for Martin Collins. About to take the free from Inla. It's Tommy Screen. Now Martin says, you take it, Tommy. Tommy was fouled. Tommy kicks it a good ball. A high ball up into the middle forwards. But under the ball. John Rafter picks it up for Dunmore. He passes it out to number 14. John Reddington. John is going up the field with the ball. Solo up the field with the ball. He sidesteps Damien. He passes it into the centre to Martin Finn. Martin Finn busting his way through now. Dunmore opening up the middle of defence now. Kicking the ball up. Blocked in there by the dock. Kicked away again by Martin Finn. Out to Young Keenan. Young Keenan takes a shot. He's in the high and over the bar. A good score there for Dunmore. Thomas Keenan, number 10. Brother of Francis. Dunmore has a sub coming in, number 24. Two points between the teams now. Very little between the teams now. That was a good score for Dunmore, bringing them back into the game, but Minden is still holding the upper hand in this game. I still think they're going to win it. Andrew kicks it out again. A good ball again out into the centre of the field. Damien grabs it out there. Turns his man, kicks a good ball to this side of the field. Tommy Spain, the sun shining in his eyes, but Racing out there for Dunmore is T Martin Reddington, John Rankton. John Rankton, a strong player, coming down the field again with the ball. So on down, 40 metres out, kicking it out to the corner. Held in there by Michal Flattery. Michal intercepted and kicks it out for Dunmore. Out again, intercepted by Martin Finn. Martin Finn is hoosed off out there, but he gets a good ball across the field, and it's a line ball out for Minla. Michael Mayen hit a good rattle, and Martin Finn. In. The ball went off his boot and went out over the line. Gabriel kicks it. Way up into the air, out in the centre of the field. Brock down out there. Picked up there by Damien Costner. Damien is racing his way through. Tackled by three men and he's fouled. He still is, the referee didn't give no free, but now he gives it. Minna forms running into some heavy tackles now in this half. Damien to take the kick in the centre of the field. <coughs> Minna's putting it up to Dunmore now this half again. Good ball in by Damien. Into Michael Mannion. Michael loses it. Kicked out there. Martin Finn pulls in the ball for Dunmore across the field. Young Keenan has it out there. Thomas Keenan is fouled by Damien. How much to take the kick himself? Kicks it a good one to this side of the field. Out to number 15. John Dooley. John Dooley kicks a dangerous ball in from Martin Collins in the full back. Reddington grabs it. He's fouled in there, but no, he did not foul by Gabriel. He's held in there, but he still has possession of the ball. Number 24, and he kicks it high and he kicks it over the bar and brings the score to one point between the teams. Dunmore coming back. Number 24 came on there for Dunmore and he. Got possession there and held on to it. I thought he was fouled, but he got away. The referee let the advantage go. And 
He kicked it over the bar. Andrew Cunningham placing the ball for the kick out. The game is getting close. It might end in a draw yet. Andrew kicks it out. A good ball again. Great kick out from Andrew. Has to center the field. Held out there. Break away from, from Martin Range. And down to Michael Mannion. Michael Mannion is fouled. He's going to take the quick free. He kicks it a high ball in. Don Raftery under the ball. Don all on his own. Kicks it out across to the far side of the field to Tom Ryder. Tom Ryder stolen up the field. Is there a comeback in this Dunmore team? Number 24 has the ball. He's getting possession very easily around here. He kicks the ball out here. But Tommy Screen is going to get this one. Tommy is position, he kicks it up the wing. Pulled out there by Martin Rennings, John Rennings in a dangerous pull. Damien Mitchell gets the rebound. He passes it into Bernard McHale. Bernard is on the run. The sprint champion kicks it high and he kicks it to the left to the host and wide. Very close, but Dunmore has another sub in, number 16 on his back. Dunmore throwing everything into this last 15, 20 minutes now to try and pull the game out of the fire. He's gone in at the half forward line, that's it. He's running up to take his place. John Bowes at the kick out, Sean Bowes at the kick out, Dunmore again. He's gone in corner forward. The kick out is taken, it's a good one in centre field, held out there by Francis Keenan. Francis on the ground, he gets up and he's fouled by Damien. Referee is going back and brought the ball on 10 yards for the sin for Damien. Damien held his man down, you cannot do that. You have to release the man when the ball has been fouled and Francis takes the kick himself to the far side of the field. Broken out there, number 16 has it for Dunmore. He just takes his place in the field, he kicks the ball in. A low ball in, it's gone in there. Racing out for there is Michael Mannion. Michael fouls his man and it's another free in to Dunmore. Shane Divney is warming up here on the sideline for Minla. Shane, number 19, on his back. Came on the last day of the plate, Kilcarran from Berlin with the sub. He must be coming on shortly here. Francis Keenan to take this one for Dunmore on the far side of the field. Francis, the left footer kicker. Referee telling Francis to come on, kick the ball in. Danger here from Inland. The backs are getting inside on me now to keep them out. Francis is going to drop this ball in the square. There it is, into comes a good probing ball in. Blocked out there by the Dunmore men. Martin Finn is out there with Tommy Screen. Hooks the ball out, out. It's not gone out over the line, it's gone out over the line now. The umpire was undecided whether to give a 45, but it's Martin Finn to take this one for Dunmore, the big guard from Dunmore. Kicks it off the hand, a big high ball, dangerous ball, dropping well in, and it's gone to the left and wide. Dunmore have the capability of putting this game back to a draw, but they're missing them scores, and you have to score to win. Kathleen Burke's food store on the Minda jerseys, sponsored by Kathleen, Kathleen Burke. Kevin Kilgannon seems to have got a knock with that high ball coming in. The referee is calling for some attention for him, but Kevin is a hard man, he won't need much. One more, Roger, one another on now to get back into this game. You're not there? You're not there? No. And Carty and John Hughes in there with a the little red box. A whole lot of numbers in my little red book. Kevin seems to be all right again. Yes, he is. I said Kevin is a hard player. He's okay. Referee getting ready for the game to continue. Andrew Concannon with the kick out again from Enda. This side of the field this time. It's a good high ball. It's held out there by Martin Finn. Martin is fouled and it's a free up. Tommy Screen going to take it, kicks it a low one, quick one. Jimmy Screen in front of Don this time. 
Jimmy is knocked out and McHale racing through with the ball. Blocked in there by Dunmore. Seamus Mitchell is in there from Inla. The young man takes a shot and he just kicks it very much, very little wide. It was a good try, a very good try. Dunmore were at sixes and sevens there when Minla came through. Bernard McHale raced through. Play the ball on the ground to Seamus and Seamus was right to take his shot, even though the crowd here didn't agree with it. If he went over the bar, he'd be a hero. Jimmy's screen has been replaced by the young man Shane Dimley who was going in full forward. Sean Bowes at the kick out again. It's a good kick into the centre of the field. Damien reaching high but broke between them. Nicholas Hughes coming through with the ball. Tackle there. Out to Damien. Damien is racing through now. He's going through. He takes a shot and Damien sends it wide. The right of the post. Damien hits it with the outside of the boot. The inside of the boot was the one to hit it with there. He hit it with the outside step instead of the in step and that would have sailed over the bar but you have to try to learn. Here he comes. Sean Bowes again with the kick out. Minla is still leading in this, this game. It's a low ball out. Broke out there. John Renton pulls him and done more. Held out there by John Raftery. Not John, but it's number four. David Connolly. Ball is Rahan. Ten yards for the cinch. Overholding the player. You cannot hold a player once this, the referee blows the whistle. You can't hold on to him. You have to, second time it happened against Minla in this half. The kick is to be taken by John Reddington for Dunmore. Left for the kick, a good ball down the field. Martin Connell's under, breaks between them. Damien Mitchell is back to help out the back line. Damien is on the ground and it's fouled and it's a free out. Damien is going to kick this. He's telling these players to spread out, not be bunch in the middle. He's right, spread out the field and run these Dunmore players off. You have the speed. The ball has held out there by number six. Sean Maloney kicks it in for Dunmore. To Francis Keenan, Francis takes a high ball, it looks very good. It's dropping in, dangerous ball, fished it out by Andrew. To Kevin Kilgannon picks it up and kicks it out to the wing to Mihal for a flattery. Mihal dillies at the ball, goes down, picks it up, plays it into Damien Costler. Damien is back now, helping out the back. Minla thrown left and in to keep this very narrow lead. Damien kicks it into centre field. John Reddington is on the foot and more. Holding, held up by Bernard McHale, kicks it a quick one to the unmarked player. The Tom Ryder, Tom Ryder solos down the field with the ball. He's going toward ahead. He kicks a good, dangerous ball in, and it's gone to the right and wide. One point in the t all the time. Minna leading by that one point. A very close game. Dunmore trying hard to make a draw, but Minna still holding out. Time is ticking away. Andrew takes a good ball out to the far side of the field. Racing out there is number two, Tom Ryder for Dunmore, he on all his own, he kicks it in again. And it's a wide ball again for Dunmore, wide after wide. Suit and Minla this is now, Dunmore wasting time, it's as good as a score for Minla. Nicholas Hughes is switching, he's coming to this side of the field to mark John Reddington and Bernard McHale is going over the far side to mark Tom Ryder. Switching tactics, steaming. Costless centre forward. Kick out again by Art, Art, Art Andrew to the far side of the field. And as he kicks it out over the line. Nobody went for that ball for Andrew and he kicked it out, but it's kicked in again by Dunmore. Martin Finn, the big man, has it for Dunmore. He's trying to bust his way in. He's held there by Tommy Screen out. The dock is under. The ball breaks. Who has it but Kevin Collins? Kevin. Kicks it out to the unmarked Francis Keenan, and he's fouled, and it's a free in. Kevin should have kicked that ball out here 50 yards when he had possession. Stood at him, short passes. Use the pitch. Dunmore are tired now, men are fitter. He should you run them off the field. Use the long clearance to do that. Francis Keenan to take it for Dunmore. Pint here on the sides will be level. Francis studying himself, kicking it off the hand. He kicks it high, and he kicks it straight. Over the bar and the sides are level for the first time in this game. The sides are level. Good score there by Francis Keenan from Dunmore. Andrew Concannon placing the ball in the 20 metre line for the kick out. Up he comes, right for the kick, a good ball. Andrew has a great kick out, 60 yards out the field. Dropping out there to Damien. Damien is, or Michael Mannion kicks it in. Out comes 
John Raftery busting his way out in front of young Divney, blocked down there. Gordon McHale trying to get the ball in, he has it on the ground, he passes it out. Martinson is there for Dunmore, kicks it across the field and it's a free in to Minla. Des Kidd has a chance of putting Minla in front again. No, it's his line ball. I thought the referee put his hand out with a free in. Gabriel to take this one, the far side of the field. Gabriel Collins. Gabriel's going to kick this one well in. He does, he kicks it well in front of the goal. Punched out by Francis Keenan. Mike Flattery beats his man for possession of the ball. And he's fouled and it's a free in. Des Kidd is running across to take this one. If Des can put this one over the bar, Minla will hit the front again. In a very close contested game and it's not for league final. On the 14th of November. A funny time of the year to be playing a league final that started back in early March. The GA has a lot to answer for. Des steady himself for this kick. We should be at home eating our dinner now instead of here in tune. But Des kicks it to the left and he kicks it wide. Des missed that one. As I said, it's very late in the year for this Northport League final. There's too far, too many games played. There's 14 games to be played in this league to reach this stage of the, the league final. Sean Bowes in the goal for the kick out for Dunmore. The sides are level. Kicks it out, a short kick. Not near as long as Andrew Concannon. Held out there by Des Kitt and he's fouled and it's a free in. Des might redeem himself with this kick. He has the chance to put men in front now. Des is going to take his time with this one. Study himself now and not let the last one get to him. This is to put Minla back in front. Up he comes. He chips this one. Beautiful. And he's sailing it over the bar. A great kick by the man from Killerscove. A great score by Des Kidd. He took his time with that one and he chipped it rather than kicking it. And it worked in beautiful. Straight over the bar. Put Minla back in the lead. Again by one point. Sean Bowes in the goal for Dunmore to take the kick out. Kicks out, the centre of the field. Caught out there by John Rankin for Dunmore. John is fouled, it's a free down. He kicks it quick outside, but the descent again brings the ball on 10 yards. The referee is very strict on this. John Raymond to take the kick again. He's going to place it on the ground to kick it this time off the ground. John is kicking into a slight breeze. Kicks a good ball into the middle of the goal line. It's held in there by number. He plays out to Martin Finn and Martin Finn takes a shot and he sends it to the left and wide. Martin had a chance of leveling there for Dunmore but he kicked it wide. Dunmore have missed a lot of easy chances here today. But it's still a very close game, in the one point ahead. The kick out again by Andrew to the centre of the field. Mikey Fattery holds it this time, he kicks it a good low ball out to Des Kidd. Des is Tom Ryder, beats Tom this time. Des is racing through and he's fouled and it's another free into Minla. It's well within Des's reach to kick this one over the bar. Des is putting up his hand, take your time lads, don't get excited. We're a point ahead, let's try and make it two. He's just 60 yards out, it's a long way out. He's going to try. Studying himself now for the kick. Taking his time. Up he comes, right foot a kick. He kicks it high, he kicks it low, it's not gone in too far. It's dropped in about 21 metres out from the goal. Nicholas Hughes has possession. Nicholas is fouled. He's still, no, Nicholas got no free. Francis Keenan cleared it out over the line here. The line ball from Inla. Tommy Screen, who's Martin Finn in there in the wire. Tommy, Matty hit this ball in, he kicks it in high. It's dropping in there. Picked up by Bernard McHale and a great shot by Bernard. The goalie had a job to hold it. It broke away from him with the power and he's fouled in there and it's a free out. A good shot by Bernard. It could have gone into the net. If it did, the game would be all over for Dunmore. He studies, kicks the ball out, a short one. The referee is putting Shane Dimney's name in the book for that tackle on the goalie. Nicholas Hughes, I thought, was entitled to a free few seconds earlier on. The referee seems to be swinging his allegiance in the Dunmore direction for this game. Des Kiss is down on the far side of the field. He's looking for attention. 
This seems to be all right. And he was in there with the magic bottle. This is okay. Up he gets. And he's looking for a drink. He's thirsty. It's thirsty work. One pint between them. Time is ticking away. The ball is kicked well out. Broken out there. Damien racing through with the ball. Damien Mitchell. He's punches it across to Bernard McHale. Bernard takes a shot as he was falling. And he puts it wide. Put it wide. Went to the, went to the left hand side of the post and just went wide. The crowd here behind me in the stand thought it was a score, but just a little bit wide. Good try by Bernard McHale there. Bernard Moore warming up another sub. Number 19. Sean Bowes at the kick out. The game is hotting up now. Not too long left in it. Minna leading by one pint. The ball well headed out there. By number eight for Dunmore, David Cronin. David kicks it himself. A good ball into the middle of the half of the field. Kevin Connors holds it well. Kevin is coming past the 50 meter line, kicking the ball out to Damien Mitchell. Damien is tackled hard out there. He gets it out to Damien. Michael Mayan to Damien Mitchell. Damien is racing through with the ball. He fouls and it's John Redden picks it up for Dunmore. John is going on his bike now down for Dunmore. He's past the 45 meter line. He's still going through. The crowd are booing the referee. Men the map there was fouled, but he got through. And Damien passes it, takes down John. And John kicks it quick into the unmarked John Dooley. John Dooley kicks it across the goal again. <coughs> it's out there. Number 19 kicks it across the goal. The goal and it's gone wide. Another miss for Dunmore. Wide ball. <coughs> crowd are booing the ref there. Damien was definitely fouled up there, but Dunmore broke away and nearly got a score on the other end, but it's Andrew Concannon with the kick out from Milner. Milner still holding out by one point. Andrew kicks it low this time out. It's held there by the Dunmore man. He's surrounded by Milner players. He doesn't know what to do. He kicks it out. He's kicked out. John Renton has been racing back for the ball for Dunmore. He picks it up. He studies himself. He looks to see where the loose man. The loose man is Francis Keane. No mark. Milner back wants to tighten up. Francis into a hefty challenge by Damien and this, this time he gives it free to Dunmore. Damien didn't use the elbow, he used, he ran into his shoulder. The referee seems to be giving everything to Dunmore now, in this second half. Francis Keane is still on the ground after running into Damien Mitchell's shoulder. It wasn't intentional, it was a very... Damien was coming through and he ran into him and caught his head against Damien's shoulder. Don't know what the referee is going to do here. Is he going to give a free or what? He seems to be giving a free to Dunmore. David Cronin placing it for number eight for Dunmore. A pint between them, it's a long way out. He won't kick that one over the bar. It's 50 yards, he'll probably drop it in the square. Mihal Flattery seems to have a cramp in his leg. Ground is very heavy out there and they have a lot of running done. <laughs> David Cronin, he kicked the ball for Dunmore. Crowd are still booing the referee for that decision. He's inside talking to some players now. We're talking to Tommy Screen and Martin Finn. Some crosswords exchanged between them. He's talking to the umpire now. A kick to be taken by David Cronin. A long time to take this kick. He kicks it very high into the middle of the goal. It's dropping in. Danger. And it's blocked by Andrew Concannon in the goal. A great save by Andrew. A wonderful save by the young man. Saved Miller from a dead goal there. Great save. Kicked it out to Damien Costa. Damien kicked it up the field. It's broken out there. David Cronin has the ball again for Dunmore and he's fouled. By Michael Mannion. He's going to kick this one off his hands. He kicks it in high again. A dangerous ball in up the goal. And Kevin Connors reaching out for it. Collided with Michael Flattery on the way down. Martin Connors throwing a punch there. And he's, he thought that Dunmore had not hit him, but he ran into Mike Flattery. It was his own man he ran into. <laughs> Martin was in there very hard on the tackle and the Dunmore player. He was going to take no prisoners. 
It was Mike Slattery that Kevin ran again when he came down with the ball. The Dunmore man didn't touch him. Afternoon, the Dunmore man has been spoken to now. Number 15, John Dooley for Dunmore. His names are going in in the book. The sub in for Dunmore, number 19. One pint still between the teams. Minna is still holding out in this very close game. I told you, it's in Martin has been sent to the line and so is the Dunmore player, you see. I don't know yet there. The two of them are being sent off. Two players. Martin and I think it's John Donnan for Dunmore. John, no, it's not. Let me see what number. John Dooley it is. Dunmore. The ball free through the ball in. It broke in there. Held in there by Gabriel Collins. One of Gabriel kicks it to the far side of the field. Des Kitt is down to help out the middle of backs. He's pushed by John Ryder and a free up for Minla. Gabriel to take the kick. Kicks it a good ball to Damien Costner, to Des Kitt. Des kicks a good ball in here to the Dunmore goal. Nick the shoes under, it's breaking between them. It's held by young Seamus Mitchell. Seamus Mitchell coming inside his man. He's inside his man. He's hoosted around there. He kicks his block down by number four for Dunmore. Don and David Connolly. David is fouled. He takes his free quick to David Cronin. David Cronin kicks a good ball out the far side of the field. Time is ticking away. Young Keane is out there. He miss, kicks it inside. He still is inside. Kevin Collins goes out to break it. It's broke inside. There's nobody in here, is there? It's fouled. The referee has blown the whistle. I don't know what he's going to do. Is it a free to Dunmore? It's a 45 for Dunmore. Mm -hmm. A 45. There isn't much time left. One point between them. This game could end in a draw if this one is scored. Tom Redding, John Reddington coming out to take the kick. Dunmore broke away down the far wing with that one in it. It just went out for a 45. Close call for Minla. John is going to kick this one. I'm sure he's going to lob it in around the square. Dunmore trying to get the equalising point. He kicks it in, it's gone out, and Gabriel Collins touched it, and the referee says it's another 45. Crowd are whistling here in the stand behind us. Time must be up. I didn't check the time starting off. David Cronin is coming out to take the kick for Dunmore this time. John Reddington tried it the last time, it's no good. David is a big man, he'll have a good long kick at this ball now. He's standing well back and studying himself. He's lobbed this one in. Referee is in around the small square there. There'll be a lot of hooshing in there on this ball. No, it's a low ball in. Locked out there. Picked up by John Reddington. He's going through and it's pu pushing his way in. It's three out from him there. To the delight of the supporters here in the stand. Minna's going to clinch this Northport League final. And there it is. The game is over. And Minna has won by one point. Don't motor. Argon with the referee there, that should have been a free in, but the referee says you charge and it's a free, free out and Minna has won the Knockboard League final. After the third attempt they have brought it off. This gallant young team from Minla in a very hard close fought game. One pint separated the sides in the end. Great excitement here in the stand from the Minna supporters. The teams are... The Minda team is congratulating themselves down there, arms around one another, and why shouldn't they? They're only one step away from senior football now. They're moving closer all the time. They have to wait the outcome of the West Board to meet yet in the county final. The West Board has not played yet. It'll probably be a few weeks more before this county final will be played. It won't be far off Santa Claus. The last number of years, men have been wet. Quite a while for this. Woo! Yeah! 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 Have been unlucky on occasions, but now you've only one match to go the whole hog and try and get up to senior. It's up to yourselves now, up to the stand. I'd like to thank both teams for a, definitely a very good second half. Good and lively and <laughs> tough. And uh, he stuck it out to the end, men, and he deserved to be there. Uh, well done. As I said, you've one match to go. Keep at it. And then you get there. I'd like to present the trophy at the Sean Fallon Memorial Cup now.
to your captain, men the captain, Gabriel Collins. <laughs> Chairman of the North Board, ladies and gentlemen, this is the people of Mindless. Uh, captain of the Mindless Media Team, it's a great honour to accept this Sean Fallon Cup for the North Board League Intermediate. It's half half of what we were looking for, lads. Because there's no good winning this unless we win the next one, which it brings up the scene. Yeah. 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 I want to say in 1988 we were a junior B team. And it'd be a shame now, lads to leave it at this and not to go senior. Because I think it's where the younger lads coming to deserve to be playing. And I ask everyone of the team to put the shoulders of the wheel for the next four weeks and we go senior. Having a lot more to say, I just want to thank a few people. And if I leave out anyone, we'll remember them in the, the next match. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I want to start to thank the management. And uh, the three selectors. Pat Ryan, Pat Carty, and the third one, I'm sure the other lads won't mind giving me a, a fair push, is John Hughes. <laughs> Over the last two years, no one has been at more trains than John Hughes. And I mean, at the end of the day, it's great to see the management there because you know yourselves, lads, it's, it's hard to vote when there's, you know, when there's no, no management to push it. And John is just stuck to a thick and thin. So I just a round of applause for John. <laughs> I think you can give the North Board a bit of hassle too. <laughs> There's one man I want to give special mention to, and no one mind it. He's a player. He took over training in August, and I think he's done a fabulous job. I want a big cheer for Damien Mitchell. Yes! And of course, we cannot forget the players, and that accounts for the lads who are gone this year. There's a few of them there I see not tugged out. And for the lads who are 12 years who are there who have just gone to a wall now, one of them is the lecturer, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a special group of lads, and that's the lads that are in there too. Brendan Cosgrove, Kevin Fletcher in particular. And there's one fellow who missed out today, and I know doubt he'd been there, and that's Kyle Jordan. Well, that's <laughs> There's uh, the mothers who washed all the jerseys. <laughs> <laughs> One woman in particular washed, I'd say, thousands of jerseys, and that's Kathleen Fatray. <laughs> and I hope I'm not even knowing anyone, so I cover everyone here. You need the supporters. Who stuck with us to tin and tin over the last four years when we had no cups. Before I go, I want you to give three cheers to Dunmore. And I think they put up a very game, very brave performance today. They're senior already and fair play to them. They kept going to the bitter end. And before we give three cheers to them more, I want to give a round of applause to Jerry Guyne and the referee. Thank <laughs> you.